Kelly and Kyle with Cruiser Customizing. Welcome to part two of our Jet Kit Air Kit installation. But what's the real reason for going with an aftermarket air kit, such as this big air kit from Barron's? On the back of this air box, you see two small holes. That was the limitation or the only air that could get into the motor of this motorcycle. With the addition of this aftermarket k and style external filter, we're going to significantly increase the airflow going into this motorcycle. Last week, we tore apart this carburetor and re it. Main jets, pilot jets, needles. It's so the next part of this installation is going to be to adjust the air fuel mixture screws. In order to get to the screw, we have to drill out this brass plug. Now this is something you want to be very, very careful when you're doing to not drill too deep. Now that we've got this brass plug drilled, we're going to take a self-tapping screw. We're going to screw into the brass fitting and it comes right Once out. Once the brass plug has been removed, we can now access our air fuel mixture screw. Now we're going to take a screwdriver, set it in here and twist this until it gently seats. Let me go ahead and do that with the second one as well. The next step in order to get proper adjustment is going to be to turn the air fuel mixture screw counterclockwise three rotations. I'm going to put a mark up here to note where the first rotation is going to be. Call that one, two, and three. 100% ready to go for our aftermarket exhaust and our aftermarket air kit. While fuel management is the most important part, the actual installation of the air kit is pretty simple. We're going to start this installation today by removing this factory inlet and applying it to the backing plate using some rubber cement. Now we're going to transfer this rubber boot from our air box to our new backing plate. We're going to take our rubber cement and we're going to just run a bead right along this smaller inside edge. We're going to set this into place. While the glue dries, I'm going to go ahead and attach my mounting arms. It's now time to assemble our filter. Now with my chrome cover on a soft cloth, we'll go ahead and tighten these up. Air kit complete. We've got one last thing to install before we attach our air kit. This is the last piece we removed from our stock air box. Now we're just going to slip it into place. Now for the exciting part, we're going to set our air kit into place. Air kit installed, bike rejetted. Now we're going to go ahead and fire this thing up and see what we've done. Hopefully, we've taken care of all the diesel popping we were getting from these pipes prior to the jet kit. Okay. Air kit, jet kit, and exhaust pipes make a huge difference as far as performance goes. Thank you for watching this week's Cruiser Customizing Tip of the Week. Until next week, take care and ride safe.